Robinson's record for rebounding average per game in the CAA, and I'm sure he's looking forward to this opportunity to get all over the glass at the Dean Dome. Changes except for Seventh Woods replacing Kobe White tonight. And the first change that North Carolina's had to make in their starting lineup all year, but when you want to talk about consistency, these guys two choices. Either you're going to play defense or you're going to run. And eventually you're going to play defense anyway because you're going to continue to run. Did not see last year in that he is pretty much fully healthy now. Got both of his hips surgically cleaned out in the offseason. A lot of getting out in transition, of course, that's one of the things that Coach C. M. McGrath knows that he does not want to see from his opponent here tonight. He's seen it well too often. And right now, operating very well on the offensive end of the floor. Nasir Little's come into the game for Carolina. That's Luke May, the terrific senior. May again finds Williams. That's his third assist already here in the early going. Lots of games in November, and then for a variety of reasons, not so many in December. And Carolina Corps this year, as you know, there's Nasir Little's first two points. This is the fewest games played in the month of December since Dean Smith started his career as a coach here at North Carolina in 1961. Okay. That's the usual plan. Do you try not to see the score? Not anymore. Okay, you yeah. don't even bother with that anymore? Many years ago, I gave up with that. It's very difficult guarding Narcia Little. Oh. <laughs> right now, he is having his way against the Seahawks. Good look and stroke by Ty Taylor, Utah mm -hmm. State transfer. It's 18-12, North Carolina. But you can never rest against the Tar Heels because they come right back at you. <laughs> With the slam. Coming in, but you see at that size the beautiful feed over the top and recognizing exactly where Black would be. This is Kai Taves from Tokyo, Japan. He said the first, his first three games, he felt like things were going a little fast for him, but he's really calmed down. And I believe he's got so much better because he's become more aggressive offensively. But since he was at Carolina at the time, didn't recruit him. And so a few months later, he gets hired to be the head coach of the Seahawks. And he remembered, you know what? There was this pretty good point guard. Say, you know what? I'm just not going to play defense. But with the zone, I think, from, from Coach McGrath, that will help him hopefully stay out of foul trouble. But Give you a single let me take credit. Starting five back on the floor for UNC. Cameron Johnson steps back and hits the three. Gonzaga, who's the number one team in the country right now, which is part of the reason why Kobe White will not play tonight. And Brandon Robinson, I'm sure, will it be the last. And I'm not sure yet that he still cares. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to do what's best for the young man and what's best for the team. Here's play tap. He buries the three. Here's play tap with the basketball. Now, it's not JPJ. <laughs> <laughs> On top by five. Just under five minutes remaining in the half. Leaky Black goes inside. Huffman with the layup. For November, December, he goes deeper into his bench than most ACC coaches do, but that's not necessarily going to be the game plan come January and February. I'm worried about this basketball stuff. He's, he's worried about random people running around on the sideline in suits. That's the Ivy Leaguer in. <laughs> of course, he's a legacy. His dad was an outstanding quarterback for the Tar Heels back in the day, and he made a promise, did Luke, to Roy Williams as a high schooler. Kenny Williams off the mark from the corner. Silla. Uses the window. Oh, yeah, see? Because if you're profiling basketball players, you would never put the four of them together. <laughs> then for Steph Curry, it was three-point percentage and three-pointers made. So for Kaycock, look at their schedule this year. They started out on the road playing at Winthrop and then played at the Elon. Two true road games before they ever played a home game here. I'm sure he will repay that favor. And it's a big deal, believe it or not, when North Carolina goes and plays in any oh, other no city. doubt. No doubt. No empty seats to be had, I'm sure. Hansborough wanted to win a national championship for UNC. And as coach would say it, daggum, he got it. Seventh Woods. 
day, Vontae Woods, the junior from Columbia, South Carolina. And nice move to be able to change sides of the lane and score. Here's Woods with that four to one assist to turnover ratio this year, who was, you'll remember, Joel Berry's primary backup when they won the national title two years ago. Coach McGrath was able to bring his players and the women's team from UNCW also spent a week getting themselves in shape and getting ready for the season. When he was in high school, he played for Troy Mans, my good friend at L.C. Bird High School. And so I spent a lot of time with Kenny in the gym and never saw him dunk. Oh, Mike Rhodes, who was on the staff back then, of course, getting a huge win over his former boss, Shaka Smart. And so great win for VCU. Cam Johnson in the middle of a nice game. He's got 15 points to lead everybody with the basketball now. And he's got a chance for three. In some type of trap, full court or half court by the Tar Heels. Here's Leaky Black. It's a 16 to nothing UNC run. I really like what Leaky Black has given the Tar Heels. And I wasn't sure whether he would be able to come into this level and still play the point guard position at six foot seven. Taves. If he practiced against them, and he told us earlier today, yeah, he destroyed our practice <laughs> just, just this week. I'm sure that, of course, every time he sees her and has the opportunity to see his mom in the stands watching his games, it's an inspiration to him. It's not seeing him, it's an inspiration to me. He could be one of those 6'13 guys, just a little bit over seven feet, but doesn't want to mention it. Cam Williams, follow. Yale 0-4 all time against the Dukies. Will this be the year? Just under nine minutes to go. Luke May from the head of the key rattles it home. Is it Cole? Cole, yeah. So, the, so they've got it covered in all three of the major sports. No hockey player in the household. Did my, well, tell me mom played hockey. Derailed any opportunity he might get. I'm a firm believer in playing multiple sports. Of course, I played multiple sports growing up. North Carolina taking UNCW out of their rhythm defensively, but giving up offensive rebounds. Manly unable to get back into the paint. Sterling Manley. Nice soft touch on the rim. 17 with Isaiah Hicks and Kennedy Meeks and Tony Bradley on the front line but were unable really to recruit that level of player. Williams was in his office here at the Dean Dome with a player a few years ago. He got a phone call, and he has a very strict policy that his secretary understands. So are you saying that you don't think for a second that Kirsch got that from Freddy? Uh-oh, wait a minute. Love to see the big man on the break. Manly missed, but little doesn't. Sprinting down the sideline in the suit. Yes. The managers here at the University of North Carolina are required to wear suit and tie, and so... And so, therefore, I would have been a contributor to his eight to All right, and I got to clean something up on behalf of Kenny Williams III. Well, there were certainly the uh, better days for UNCW basketball. But we uh, went digging through the archives. Brother is the head coach at UNC Greensboro. As you said, his brother Wes used to play for Roy Williams. Played and scored at the Dean Dome. Shea Rush is also in for UNC. Miller again to the left hand. Huffman. Now still trying to find his way on the court. But showing signs here in the late minutes. I think the, uh, the line goes for Huffman. He's the best with the ball within one feet. If they get to triple digits, KJ. No! Can't deliver the biscuit. But they deliver the win. 97-69.